Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and another Sims 4 soap opera Let's Play The Rich and the Fabulous episode of Season 2, Episode 2. Um, but before we get into today's video, I would like to remind everybody of the Black Lives Matter links and resources I've provided that are in the description box below of this video. Um, several of the links that I've provided send you, you to websites where you can uh, learn more about how you can help the Black Lives Matter movement, whether that's through donating money to several organizations that help the Black Lives Matter movement, whether that's through signing petitions or um, calling your state and local leaders, and it even tells you even more things that you can do to help the Black Lives Matter movement. And then the other links are links to videos that you can watch where the monetization ad money slash revenue goes towards Black Lives Matter organizations. So if you're like me and you can't afford to donate to Black Lives Matter movement organizations, uh, watching is donating. So you're still helping the cause by watching. So I encourage everybody to check those links and resources in the description box below so that we can all help. And with that, let's get into today's uh, Sims 4 soap opera, The Rich and the Fabulous episode. Okay guys, I know that last time we left off in the last episode, uh, the premiere episode of The Rich and the Fabulous, we left off with a mysterious stranger sitting outside of the Ravenwood Manor home. Uh, we don't know who she was and uh, what she was about or why she was staring at their home. All we know was that she was a mysterious stranger. But I thought today's episode should focus on the Claren family because uh, they didn't get much of a storyline last uh, season and so this season we're going to give them kind of a more storyline. But today's storyline is going to focus on Abyssalith Claren because she, uh, as we know, is uh, really into aliens as she believes that they are her overlords. Um, and as you remember, her and her siblings were raised in a cult where they were taught that aliens were their overlords and that they needed to pray to them. And so, uh, you know, her siblings have been able to, you know, be able to get into life and normalize and act like normal people to some extent. Uh, but Abyssalith hasn't quite gotten to that state yet. So uh, you're probably wondering what she's doing in this outfit. Uh, you know what that crown is over her plum bob over her head and why she's doing what she's doing well as we remember last season she likes to meditate around uh, alien like objects because it makes her feel more in tune with the universe and her alien overlords but what we don't know is that just recently she decided to start up a social group um, church or <coughs> cult um, to uh, what she likes to call her alien overlords uh, but what the group is called is the church of alientology because she wants to you know kind of sort of revive her cult and make it a little less cultish although low-key it's still cult um, so she wants to uh, do that and hopefully get other people to see the light and see that the alien overlords are, you know, in fact, they're over overlords and uh, something that everybody should be playing, uh, praying to. And so she decided to create the Church of Alientology, where she is, in fact, the leader. And you may be wondering who else joined her group. Well, it's none other than her brother Finnick Clarn and oh. his boyfriend Antoine Ravenwood. Now you might be wondering why would Finnick Clarn join, you know, this clear cult of hers that she just started that's kind of like a basis of their old cult. 
Well, the reason why he decided to join was because he felt sorry for his sister and the fact that, you know, she was alone and all this and wasn't really adapting to society too well. And uh, his boyfriend here joined because of the fact that he loves uh, Finnick Clarn and wants to do whatever Finnick Clarn, you know, likes, but also wants to make him, you know, know that he loves him and is there for him and is there for his siblings as well. So, as you can see, these are the uh, boys' uniforms. Uh, uh, they wear yellow, uh, uh, I don't know what you would call that, jumpsuits, with, you know, their little add-ons to let everybody know that they're from the Church of Alientology. And uh, the whole uh, tinfoil hats is to let everybody know that they're willing to let the aliens read their mind and this is kind of like a beacon I guess to signal to the aliens that they're here and they're waiting for them to join them now you might be wondering do they actually believe this uh, no just a basilisk does they're basically humoring her but you're probably wondering how does she plan on going about advertising you know about this well She's watched several movies and television shows and she's realized that a lot of people like a certain type of thing in movies and television shows and so she assumes if she applies those things to her Church of Alientology, she'll get people that will join it as we're about to see what that is. And in fact, what it is, is them twerking. So you might be wondering, what does that have to do? It's kind of like the idea of like twerking for Jesus, but um, they're twerking for aliens, as you can see. And she thinks that by twerking, people will, you know, enjoy, you know, the whole aspect of twerking for the alien overlords. So she and the other two members of her Church of Alientology have decided to twerk in the local park so that they can get people to join you know their alien church of alientology and as you can see people are kind of looking at them like you know what the hell's going on this is really weird this is odd and as you can see death even decided to come and take time out of his day of you know taking souls to the afterlife to watch them twerk for the alien overlords but you might be asking Besides twerking for their alien overlords, what are they doing? They're actually doing a fundraiser, one of many fundraisers that they've done since uh, starting the Church of Alientology within the last month. They are doing not so much a bake sale, although it could be thought of as a bake sale. They're more or less doing a twerk sale where they're twerking for the alien overlords and people are donating money to them to watch them twerk so to some extent it's kind of well thought out because people get to enjoy watching them twerk while also they get to make money that they can use to help further along their church of alientology now uh, as you can see they're twerking and you know Abyssalith doesn't know that this is like, you know, dancing stuff that you see in music videos and stuff like that because she's never watched really movies or television shows. She just assumes, you know, and look, there's Death. He's enjoying it. He took time off of, you know, taking souls to the underworld and stuff or the afterlife. So clearly he's okay with it. And as you can see them twerk their pancake booties. Uh, they're all about making money for the Church of Alientology. And Abyssalus thinks that by doing this, not only will they raise money to help with her idea of this Church of Alientology, but also she thinks that it will get people to, you know, be fascinated by it and to want to join. And as you can see, even Barbie's thinking that she's interested. That's my Barbie sim that I play. So, as you can see, they're twerking, and I think they've made enough money for the day so I think they're about to stop but today's episode is not over with yet even though it's kind of gonna be a short episode uh, there are many surprises in store as we're about to see we're gonna end on that twerking front and here we are at the island of Sulani at one of the resorts 
And you might be wondering, why are we here? Well, this is Finnick and Antoine's second date. Finnick uh, Claren is here with his boyfriend, Antoine Ravenwood, who flew them out so that they could be here and have their second date because, you know, Antoine's rich and can afford to fly them anywhere. So after they had their Church of Alientology, uh, you know, twerk-a-thon, uh, they went to the island of Sulani. And as you can see, they're enjoying themselves on their second date, even though they're kind of already in a relationship. And even though they've only been on one date where they had sex for 24 hours, um, you can see that something interesting is about to happen. They're laughing and enjoying themselves. And, you know, Antoine's telling Finnick that he loves that they're hanging out together and that they're having such a good time and Finnick who's never had a boyfriend or anybody uh, thinks that this is the perfect time to propose as you will see as he's down on one knee he's proposing and what an actual lovely place to propose uh, he's doing it by sunset on the beach at a Sulani resort which you know Antoine's like sure he'll marry him because you know he's rich and he really is infatuated with Finnick and Finnick absolutely is infatuated with Antoine so they're kind of like our uh, happy couple in this uh, Sims 4 soap opera and as we're about to see they are about to uh, embark on what they usually do after a first date which is having sex in I guess a public place and here they are on a beach somewhere secluded having the sex now as you can see everything is really blurred out and that's because I downloaded recently a wicked whims mod where I also added the streamer mod to go with it so everything is really blurred out so you can't see anything and that way I can post it to YouTube and so uh, as we watch them do blurry stuff that we have no idea what they're doing, um, I guess that's how we are going to end today's episode of The Rich and the Fabulous, Season 2, Episode 2. I know it was kind of a short episode, but I kind of wanted to give a sort of storyline to get, let you guys see what was going on in the Claren family thus far. And, you know, show you what's going on in Finnick Claren and Antoine Ravenwood's relationship after having only gone on one day and been dating for one month. So with that, I'm going to end today's episode. Um, I would like to thank everybody for watching. Um, again, I want to let you guys know that... Uh, to look in the description box below this video for the Black Lives Matter links and resources because um, uh, you know we all need to help and so I encourage everybody to check those out and here we are at the beach with Finnick Claren and Antoine Claren so with that I would like to thank everybody for watching my content uh, feel free to like comment and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so and I will see everybody next time with another Sims 4 soap opera let's play episode of the rich and the fabulous uh, thank you guys and bye <laughs>